Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into my early review of the brand new Lego Super Mario Piranha Plant set. This is set number 71426 and it has 540 pieces and is retailing for $59.99 USD or $79.99 Canadian beginning on November the 6th. I believe this is a Target exclusive in the United States and was found early by a couple of different uh, places around the country, but this set is awesome. I think that for a number of reasons, this is easily one of my favorite Mario sets we've gotten. I think that this makes for an excellent display set if you are a fan of Mario or, you know, you want to get this as a gift as well. I just think that, like, imagine this on your desk or, of course, next to this guy, which is you know, he's so large already. We're going to zoom out and see how he stacks up height-wise to this thing. Can he hold it? All these things. If you want to jump ahead to that section of the video, go ahead and do that now. But there's so much to talk about with this set. Let's go take a closer look at this. So here it is. I think that the shaping of this, uh, with a few exceptions here and there, I think it is really incredible. There is a bit of functionality here where the mouth can actually open. Unlike Bowser, this is not a puppet. You do have to manually go and grab it from the top. There's no buttons or anything to do that hidden anywhere. But it's really cool that you can actually open up the mouth like that. If you're curious, let's see here. Can you actually fit Mario inside of the mouth? And you can there. You can't close it any more than that. Uh, he's tired. He's fallen asleep here. So let's uh, move along here in the video. But yeah, I love that a lot. Zooming on into the head just to show you, uh, you can really rotate this thing around here on the neck. I love that that's in green, by the way. That's great. And uh, I, I think that the connection there is awesome. But uh, in the top here, you could see we've got two designs for this. It's repeated on the bottom. But these are all prints. None of this is stickers, which is great. And then you've got this three by three there holding everything together up there at the top. I love the little tongue there that's included. That is great. And then underneath here, like I said, it's just the exact same as up above, but repeated down below. But these two parts here for the mouth of this is really great. Uh, the neck, this is some of the parts that I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. I, I don't know. That's a little too thick here up here at the top but that is not the only functionality of this set it also can actually wobble side to side just easily moving it there as well as these leaves which i really love the pointiness of this i think they capture that so well and you can angle these however you want unfortunately they won't really stay because of the gray hinges there so they will fall because they're pretty heavy but you could still angle these bits here however you want if you want to make the leaf fully straight like that or bend them just a little bit i think that is so great that uh, you are able to do that and this piece here how it's hanging over i think looks really great but uh yeah that's pretty much it for the piranha plant and you can also here do, 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 actually remove it and pull it completely out of the pipe which is another thing on its own building this large pipe is just it's really special like building these large scale sets whether it's an infinity gauntlet or a star wars iconic helmet Something like this, like Bowser, is just really surreal to be building this large version here for this. I think this is really great. Just as you're building the pipe, all these different corner pieces and curved pieces, I think is really great. And you might be going, what is that inside? Well, there's a really cool hidden play feature here. And what you do is you push on this 2x4 tile and it opens up this little trap door and you can see the interior there. It's such an incredible mechanism where you're actually here. This will push this bit here and it'll touch this slope, detaching it from these two spots here. These two studs will detach. So just to show you it reloading it, you just push and it will detach there. That's great, but what fell out? Well, it's actually these two two by three tiles printed these are coins which is so so cool so this doubles 
as a little piggy bank here. So you could see you've got the little slips there on the side and either side there, you put the coins in and then if you wanna get them out, you just go ahead and, and you push down. Even as just a large pipe here for Mario, like look how cool that looks here. I really love this. I would love for people to get multiple of this set build up the piranhas and then go ahead make this warp pipe here in red and yellow i don't know if all the curved pieces exist but that would be so so cool to see people do and then just have a row of them all in the different colored pipes and how does it look the two of them next to each other and we'll put mario there as well size wise this is nuts i mean like looking at the size comparison between even bowser I think, you know, it's maybe one of the larger piranha plants if you want to, you know, pretend that they're to scale with each other. Um, even with Mario, technically he can interact with Mighty Bowser, which uh, is, is interesting. We'll talk about that in a second with the piranha plant. But the question that I have here, I don't know about you, can Bowser hold this? Because I think to Odyssey and with the bouquet of all the piranha plants, let's see here. Can you get a couple of these and give them to Princess Peach? So unfortunately... It is too heavy. I detached even the uh, the leaves to try and even maybe stand this up, but it's just, it's too, maybe like this. There we go. But it'll tip on over. So, you know, unfortunately, it's too heavy for him to specifically go and hand this over to Princess Peach here. Let's Let's pretend that he's at least holding it on the ground there. I, I did this before. Come on. There you go. And, you know, we'll just give him, you know, he's sad Bowser now that he can't <laughs> here. I, I put the leaves back. I, I just, I love this so <laughs> much, this picture. All right. Here is the instructions for the set. We always look at this for 18 plus sets. So opening it up here, we've got a page, which I haven't mentioned this in the video, but look at it here on this, uh, you know, this countertop with some actual other plants in the back it's an incredible botanical collection edition i think so look at this here uh you've also got i never thought of using the leaves like that that's neat awesome like timeline and history of this you know i i love when they do this in 18 plus sets and they go the extra mile really wish that in 2023 they talked about it in uh mario wonder here's the designer interview uh he designed here uh, carl he actually designed bowser mighty bowser which you saw here in the video so it makes so much sense here that he was involved with this and then you go on through the uh whole thing and build it on up but that's the instructions here's the last thing that i'm gonna say about this set here what's interesting is that this is the very first ever mario set that is not actually able to interact with any of the digital characters there's not a single tag here for mario to interact with and that's such a shame if you just played super mario wonder if they were, you know, if Lego and Nintendo were talking, they could have done something really cool in this set. But unfortunately, it, it that is not the case. So this is the very first ever set for Mario that does not have that functionality. It's a shame. I would have loved maybe some sound effects and different things, but it's still a really awesome display set. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of the set? Are you going to be picking this up on November the 6th? Are you going to get this maybe for someone for a gift? You know, Christmas right around the corner. Are you going to buy this for yourself? Comment it all down below. Do my challenge. Try and make the other pipes and make a whole row of these. I'd love, love, love to see that, especially after Mario Wonder. Please make it happen. Also, technically, this is our second Smash Fighter to have a large build. I guess you could count Steve with that that large, you know, buildable character. But anyways, everyone, what do you think of this set? Subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future LEGO Super Mario set news and reviews. If you want to check out, we've got some 2024 pictures of sets already. So check that out here at the end. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.